Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. Everybody's heard of Bitcoin, but what is it? When Bitcoin was first created, it was really cheap. It was literally cents per coin. One Bitcoin would be five, ten cents. Uh, the very first transaction that occurred was somebody bought two Geno's pizzas and they paid 10,000 Bitcoins for the two pizzas. In today's money, that would be $600 million US. Not a wise purchase, was it? The original creator of Bitcoin is known as Satoshi Nakamoto. And nobody knows who this person is. It's a pseudonym, and it could be, it is, it, it's speculated a couple of two or three people that it might be, but nobody claims to be Satoshi. Hmm. Satoshi would be one of the eighth richest people in the world at this point. One way Bitcoin is superior to current currencies, fiat currencies, is that there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins, ever. Uh, it is impossible to change the algorithm. There are, as of 2021, the, the annualized return of Bitcoin over its lifespan, which is lifespan, which is 11 years now, it's 11 years old, is 200% per annum. That means you are doubling your money every six months. This is not a Bitcoin. This is an interpretation that somebody made and they're selling a whole boatload of these tokens. Of course, Bitcoin exists only in the digital cloud and you can't trade them except electronically. But it's pretty cool to hold one as a um, conversation piece, really. You have to have a stomach for it if you're gonna buy it. It goes up, it goes down a lot but it's just beginning to be accepted institutionally once the institutions come in like Elon Musk bought 1.5 billion dollars worth of it with Tesla money and it became uh, the biggest portion of his profits since that, doing that now others are gonna follow Amazon, Facebook, Apple, big corporations are going to start to put Bitcoin in their balance sheet. When that happens, I think the price will explode. Your Bitcoins are held in a what's called a wallet, a digital wallet. And there's different types of digital wallets. But one thing to be sure of, if you ever lose the keys, they're called keys to your wallet, your Bitcoin's gone forever. There is nobody to call to help you retrieve it. If your keys are gone, your Bitcoin is gone. And in fact, almost a third of Bitcoins currently out there are lost. You know, it was the early adopters were all the cyberpunk kids and stuff and they didn't really value it. It wasn't worth a lot of money. So there is a ton of Bitcoin that will never, ever be traded. There's only one Canadian uh, issuer or app that I know of right now, uh, which lets you buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. It's called Newton. And I'll... I'll put a link in the description below. Um, if you sign up with that link, um, and I'm using it, I'm using Newton. 
if you sign up with that link and spend uh, uh, buy at least one hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin you will earn a $25 bonus and so will I I think of Bitcoin as digital gold it's a store of value it's where you keep your savings it's not meant to replace like Apple Pay or credit cards or uh, th those sorts of things. Those companies can already do it just fine. So it's just a store of value. It's a, it's a savings account. Act accordingly. Please don't take this as financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm just letting you know what I've been digging into and learning about this cryptocurrency stuff. I think it's going to be a game changer. We are at the very early stages of this. Uh, decentralized finance. It's going to, it's like the internet at the very early days. This is going to be completely disruptive to the financial industry. So I'm just passing them along.